everybody! Welcome back to Zoo Crafting! We are here today with sand! Sand in our hands! Because we are working on- Oops, I fell down. We are working on- <laughs> I fell down again. Well, we're working on the reptile house again. We're working over at the rattlesnake exhibit today. So that should be quite fun. We're gonna build it right over here! I put- Oh, hello, Mr. Sheep. Whoops. I spat some, uh, some sand at you. Didn't mean to do that, Mr. Sheep. But I put a little bit of thought into it. I still want this to be the black rat snakes exhibit. And I mean, with all the species of snakes you guys are suggesting, we might have multiple snake exhibits. Like, you might just walk around and be like, oh, here's, here's like six here. And then there's going to be another reptile house, like, over there or something. This is going to be a huge zoo. We don't have to, like, use up all the cool snakes in one spot. Don't worry. There, and there's going to be so many other exhibits. Eventually, even exhibits for you, Mr. Sheep. But I thought about it, and I figured, let's put our rattlesnake right over on this side, right across from our reticulated python. And I'm trying to figure out, and we can start getting some of the limestone down uh, while I'm thinking about it, actually. In fact, we better start clearing this out. But I'm trying to figure out exactly what kind of uh, exhibit we want to do, like how we want to decorate this little spot. Let's see. Come on here. Okay, good. For our rattlesnake, like, do we want to do a full exhibit that's just full of sand? Do we want to build, like, a little sand temple? I think we'll save the sand temple, so we'll save the sandstone for our cobra. I think our cobra would look really cool with the sand temple in its exhibit. Uh, but I think we'll do, like, a Wild West sort of theme with... Our snake. Yeah, let's do like a Wild West sort of thing. I think we'll use some of that red rock that we have from Red Rock Mountain, assuming it's still there, and we'll put it here and merge it with the sand. I think that would look pretty cool. It'll be a little bit reminiscent of the Midwest where I grew up. Let's see, this is the wrong kind of sand, or the wrong kind of stone. I'm going to need, I think, you know what, actually that should be okay. Let's just do some tiles. We're going to put these down to mark the edge of where the enclosure is going to be. I think we'll do a little mountain out of, uh, kind of like the mountains of uh, the Midwest that, well, more like the West that you see for America. Big red mountains. Maybe we'll even do some nice arches, like the arches that they have in Utah. That sounds pretty cool. Let's see. Put down some of these. Hello, Mr. Sheep again. You're really in the way, you know. There we go. So yeah, I think we'll do that. Now, do we want to fill up this entire spot? We could probably do multiple rattlesnakes as a result and do little mountain builds and everything. We need to have somewhere, though, where there's an avenue. I think we'll just do it on this side. We'll just have the entrance, like the zookeeper's entrance on this side. I think we'll... let's see. Like, hmm... hmm... or maybe that side. I guess we'll have it on that side. Like, bring it in. Just a couple. Just so there's this little safety door where the zookeeper can walk in. I'll figure that out. Because we have to keep a little spot carved out like we did on there so that I can get into, the, into it from the back to take care of things. Alright, there's that. Actually, we don't need that there. And yeah, I know this is just kind of putting down some of the basic blocks, but some of you guys said that you love watching me build. And I'm the same way. I really love watching people uh, figure out what they want, figure out how they're going to start laying it down. I don't mind watching people place blocks. I think it's pretty cool. Whoops. And this is zoo building, so you, do you, guys, you guys did get to come along on the expeditions. You get to come along while we're building the actual zoo. Whoops, I forgot. Don't want to put that one there. All right, nap time. It's nap time, Lillian Tate. You guys can stay there. I know you're good for it. I'm gonna come over here. Hey, just slam the door in my face before I get inside and pop into bed. But yeah, I'm excited. So we'll put down some rattlesnakes. I'm thinking uh, maybe we'll call them diamondbacks. Since the diamondbacks are, are pretty prevalent out in the west, I believe. And they get really big. Diamondbacks actually have this really cool hierarchy about where they live. Uh, females tend to return to the same spot over and over. They kind of have their own little territory. A mature diamondbacked female in your territory is a very good thing. That means you have a very healthy ecosystem. The bigger the, the diamondback, the older she is, the more eggs she can lay, the healthier your ecosystem. That's a very good thing. And a lot of people think 
that snakes are just bad news bears, no matter what. And as you guys can imagine, I am here, hopefully, to educate you a little bit about them, so that you won't be afraid of them. There's no reason to be afraid of snakes. They're super awesome. Let's see how to get... I think it's... I start with the white ones. Do I start? Yeah, I start with the white ones. And it really helps now that we've started to figure out a pattern that we have for all the exhibits. This is going to be a biggie. Look at this thing. This is going to be a nice big exhibit. I almost want to expand our articulated pythons exhibit a little bit because it is a much bigger snake than I thought it would be. Hello, Mr. Sheep, yet again. Do you think you're like a mountain climbing sheep? I figure we can do all sorts- oh no, I fell down. All sorts of different breeds of sheep when we get to that point too. We can color them different things and give them different different habitats, different exhibits based on that. Like a black sheep and call it like a highland sheep and build a little highlands exhibit for it. Let's hold shift. Goes a little bit slower, but I'm going to stop tumbling off the edge. There we go. I'm so excited. I love doing this stuff. We may have to do an expedition to the Red Rock Mountain, though, in order to get more red rocks. I'm not sure how much I collected, but I think that doing it like uh, the Utah Arches would actually be really great. Let's see. I need more limestone pretty soon. Let's see, I need you. Limestone with dark panel. Up. And now I need you. There we go. How tall do I need to make this? Let's see, it goes one, two, three, four, five. So five tall, and we are only one, two, three. So we need to be like four, five tall. Goodness. Maybe this will help if we do it instead of, like this, instead of going in little layers. Do, do, do. I'm going to have to jump off to get some limestone soon, though. But yeah, I'm excited. Like I said, snakes aren't that big a deal. Like, they freak a lot of people out. But one of the biggest joys I ever had was when I was teaching science and would put a snake in someone's hands. And it could be any age. Mostly I worked with kids, but you know, you'd see a nervous looking adult and you'd be like, hey, you want to hold a snake? And they'd be like, aren't they slimy? And you're like, no, nah, dude, snakes aren't slimy. What are you talking about? They're, they're really nice. Here, hold this little one. I like this guy. And they'd be like, I don't know. And I'm like, don't worry. Just hold it. And they'd pick up the snake and they were always stunned that A, whoops, I'm hungry. Oi, Lily Tate, you guys aren't too hungry just yet. We'll get you lunch soon. I love these mashed potatoes. They're very filling. Nom, nom, nom. There we go. Save the bowl for later. Oh, I should probably put my gear back on. I just like showing off my zookeeper outfit when I see you guys again. Yeah, I mean, this exhibit, ah, maybe we'll just like shrink the the zookeeper entrance I originally calculated because even that would add a lot more room for our snake hmm we'll figure it out let's see no not that did I put away I don't know what to do with the quicksand yeah and I think we'll save the sandstone to build a temple like in the cobras exhibit moss stone's good we don't need that right now uh don't need the dried dirt or the mud bricks limestone that's what I was going for get lots more limestone where did I put those? I guess they're back at the house. Okay, we'll go back to the house in a minute. We're still working on the walls as it is. Psst, I hear you. I hear you making your little noises. Now, unlike our python, our articulated python, who is not venomous, I will admit that our friend, the rattlesnake, is indeed venomous. They've got a nice set of fang chompers right there. And you know, you don't really- whoops. <laughs> I need to turn the limestone into the the pretty bricks first. Also, do you see the fish Tate brought? He's such a good boy. Do you guys like Tate? I like Tate. I love Lily too. I just think Tate's way of like, we're being attacked by something and Tate's like, Mom! Mom, I got you a fish, Mom! Does that make things better? It just cracks me up. Okay, let's see. Do that. There, that's enough to make that. Hmm. I don't think I want to do the glass right now because we need to figure out how tall we're going to make things, but we'll try to keep it under that height because we don't want it to get uneven either. All right. So then we need to dig all this out and we're going to see, yeah, I think Red Rock Mountain, maybe with a cave that they can go in and out of. 
And then I think that like letting it turn into the sand would probably be pretty good. Let's see, yeah, so sand, 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 and like Red Rock Mountain to mimic Utah's uh, national park that has the arches. Maybe we won't use sand at all. We might just end up using those. I wonder if I can mess with them with my chisel. I'm not sure. I don't think so, because I think they were added with different mods, but we'll check it out. We may need to go to Red Rock Mountain. It's not too far away, though. This is the importance of resource gathering. Oh, well, well, apple tree. I'm going to have to start seeing if I can get any... I wonder if a grafter only comes with a mod, or if I can make one. Get apple tree saplings. That's dirt. Uh, it would be... where would it be? It would be under my odd dirt box. Here's my... Oh, oh no! Well, there's more sand. Only ten? Yeah, we're gonna have to go on expedition. But I think that making it look like the National Arches Park and sticking a bunch of rattlesnakes in there would be pretty cool. I'm not sure if there are rattlesnakes at the National Arches Park, but we're gonna go with this motif. But yeah, no, I've run into rattlesnakes, itty bitty ones, uh, when I grew up in Texas and things like that. And yeah, if you know how to handle them, mostly you just have to remember that if a stick is moving, don't pick up the stick. That was a lesson I learned as a child. One day I saw, I was collecting sticks in the backyard because kids do weird things like that. And I, I kept looking at this one stick that kept moving and I was like, why are you moving stick? And I went inside and I was like, mom, mom, why is that stick moving? Well, mom didn't exactly like to hear. Ah, no, it doesn't do anything. That's okay, cause that's because it's custom. My mother wasn't exactly pleased to hear that the stick was moving. I will admit that. Uh, so <laughs> we weren't allowed to play in the backyard for a little while until Dad checked for more moving sticks. Let's see, there's some iron. Do you turn into stone? Because I think stone would look better than cobblestone. Does that happen? Ooh, yeah, look at that! Oh, that's fantastic! Oh, crap! I think as soon as I put it down and pick it... Oh, I'm gonna have to be very careful placing these. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to cook all these because the stone turns into red rock and it just looks fantastic. Oh, that's amazing. Except now we're gonna have to go get more red rocks. But that's okay. Lily Tate! Lily Tate! You guys wanna go on an expedition? Yeah? Where's the sun? Sun's almost set, so never mind. We go on expedition after we take a quick nap. Uh, how's our snake? Doing good? How you doing, buddy? How you doing? I... Uh, hush! <laughs> I'll take care of that eventually. So yeah, look at this. The red rocks just look fantastic. Oh, this is gonna be so good. So pretty. It's not going to look like your typical desert, but I think it's going to look awesome. Alright, let's clear these out. We're going to need a lot of them. But that's the fun of survival. Yeah, look at that! Oh, I think this is going to look good. I don't know. Do you look good with some... Like, it's okay with sand mixed in. It's not bad. Like, I could live with, with it merging into sand. So we'll make this happen. Alright, you guys. Almost bedtime. Then we'll go on our expedition. I'm going to put away some of our gear. Because we don't need to take... Like, let's see. We don't need to take you. We don't need to take you. We don't need to take you. We can actually leave the sand. Tate's fish. I always have Tate's fish. He's such a goose. Such a goose. I'll leave the empty bowls here. Uh, actually, the oak wood I can put away. Because we might use that for something in the future. Oh, it's getting messy in here. I don't like it when it gets messy in here because then it gets really hard to organize things. There's the sand. I'm going to take the limestone out. Limestone doesn't belong in there. Dried dirt was on the bottom. Put you here. Normal dirt actually goes in a different chest, I just remembered. It may seem overly fussy. Let's see. Let's put the oaks over here. Let's put you over there. But trust me, it makes things so much easier when you're trying to do stuff. Can I sleep? Is it not night yet? Nope, not yet. Almost. Lily Tate, hang on! They're such good dogs. Let's see. Also, I guess I can 
No, I'll take the sand or the the shovel because I don't know. Let's see. And I'll put the limestone stuff right there. What's in my pack? Put Tate's fish in my pack. Sleep time. There we go. Do do do. But yeah, rattlesnakes not so bad. Unfortunately, they still. Do Oops. Let's put the chisel away too. Unfortunately, they still do things like rattlesnake roundups where they kill off a whole bunch of them all at once. That's really damaging to the ecosystem. And I'm not saying that rattlesnakes aren't dangerous. <laughs> if I saw a rattlesnake, especially a fair-sized one that could probably lunge two-thirds of its body length at me, I'm not going to go near it. I'm going to avoid said rattlesnake. Lily Tate, Lily Tate, come on, guys. Come on, guys. We're going to go this way. We have to cross the glacier. Oh, I have an egg. <laughs> Unexpected egg. Hello, chicken. Oh, it looks like some of my garden is, like, regenerating itself. Well, that garden. This garden, not so much. This garden. How do I, like, look, snowballs and dirt. Well, we could always just set up, like, a, a like, igloo station. Oh, I'm out of food again. Ah, jeez. I'm gonna have to work in the kitchen for a little while to gain a reliable resource of food because I like running around to get to places at least we have like a renewable source of ice now that's useful I guess okay oh, hey, there's some of the penguins we'll have to see if Red Rock Mountain is still here hi guys hi eventually we'll get to y'all y'all a little bit of that Texan coming back through Alright, let's see if Red Rock Mountain is still there, if it changed- Oh, good, you're still there! I was so worried, Red Rock Mountain. No, hi, bunny. We'll pretend that's an arctic bunny. Heart- arctic hare. Oh, you can get arctic foxes! We should find an arctic fox one day. That's just a fern. Do 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 do. Wow, I, re I thought Red Rock, like, mountain was a lot further away than it actually is. <gasps> Look at all the roysters! You guys, I'm so happy to see you. I thought you would be extinct. Oh, is that is that a cheetah cub? <gasps> Are you a baby? Lily, Tate. I don't think it's a baby. Lily, Tate, no. Come this way. I want to keep it from attacking my dogs. All right, Lily, Tate, sit. Sit, stay. I'll get you some chicken in a second. I'm trying to figure out if that's a baby. Oh, Tate. Oh, no. <laughs> Tate, I can't. Tree! I need a tree! Stat! I need a tree! How embarrassing! I forgot that from now on I have to always keep at least one plank in my inventory in order to open up their pack puppy stuff. Oh, how embarrassing. Okay. Tree. Hello, Cal! At least the populations of vampire penguins seem to have gone down. I'm quite relieved. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm pretty relieved about that. The vampire penguins were kind of intense. Okay, put that down, and then we're gonna turn you into that, and... Alright, now I can get into the, the puppy stuff. Do, 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 But yeah, have you guys ever traveled to a desert? I've been to a couple. Any thoughts? Any comments? Thank you very much, Tate. We should really switch backpacks. Alright, so I'm gonna take out raw fish and a medallion. Tate, hold the backpack again. Now, where'd that cat go? It looked kind of big on second glance, but kind of not big. Oi. Well, you ate it. You gonna eat that one? I think you ate it. I think you're an adult. I don't think I can do this. You're not attacking me. I think this is a big cat is the problem. Um, I don't want to hit you with it. Do I just keep feeding you raw fish? I hear it ender- Oh, I- Goodness, he was right next to me. Do you want food? Is this how this works? I don't think we can tame this guy. I think it's- it's too old. What happens if I, like... Do I right click on you? I think you're an adult. I'm gonna- I'm not gonna- I- I have a feeling that that would just whack you. Alright, we're gonna leave it alone. False alarm, guys. False alarm. 
I'm gonna just put these away for now. All right, Lily Tate. Come on, guys. I'll get you some food in just a second. And then we will harvest. Yes, look at all this beautiful stone. This gorgeous, beautiful stone that is going to become a very lovely exhibit for our rattlesnakes. We'll build the lovely red arches. I wonder if we should get some, like, normal stone. Because you see the way they've got normal stone up there? There's also some dirt blocks here. Interesting. Might as well collect those too. Do, 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 do. But yeah, if you guys have ever been to a desert, if you live somewhere that is a desert, let me know. I'm always fascinated to learn about that kind of stuff, about where you guys are from, what your native animals are. We have a very unique opportunity to talk with people from all over the world. And that means talking about animals from all over the world, and I'm all for that. I mean, I guess because rattlesnakes... I don't know if rattlesnakes... Hey, I picked you up. I don't know if rattlesnakes are... Uh, in other parts of the world. Are they just a North America thing? They're basically big, very mean looking, very powerful usually because they're quite strong, uh, snakes that are venomous. They have some pretty big fangs, but again, just because a snake is venomous doesn't mean it's like evil or something like that. Yeah, I bet we could cook cobblestone to make these, these stone blocks. Also, can you guys hear the babies in the background? Sorry about that. The baby birds are being fed! They're happy and and letting the world know about it. Oh, hey, limestone. We can always use more limestone. That's one of the main things we build our zoo with. This magnetic stuff is so useful. Come here, stone. Do you guys have any names you want to name the rattlesnakes? I'm going to say that they're going to be diamondbacks, not timbers, because you can find timbers... Uh, I believe you can also find timber rattlesnakes in some forest areas, so I want to save that in case we want more rattlesnake exhibits. Like I said, we might build multiple snake houses. Uh, the potential is really endless, but I have a feeling we'll just build a few more exhibits in our snake area, add our crocodiles, and then uh, maybe a couple other things, and move on. Because we can always come back to snakes. And I want to keep things interesting. There we go, got limestone. There. I do like how the ostriches are here. Hi, Royster. Um, I think a few more stacks. I feel kind of bad because I'm just like coming through and taking out. Goodness, that is some noisy noise noise. Who's making all that noise? Oh, hi, Mr. Crab. <gasps> baby penguin! Hi, baby penguin! Oh, cute baby penguin. Oh, goodness. I didn't even see this over here. Oh, goodness! Well, we'll have to be careful about that. Wow! Look at all this! Well, I'll just I'll take a little off the top over here. I'm sure nothing, nothing will mind. But I'm not sure how much we're going to need, so I just want to make sure that we have adequate stacks. Do, 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 do. And anything else? We'll do a, a quick jot of exploring as a reward for you guys sticking around. Or we just do some resource gathering. Are you guys good? Lily Tate, you guys good? Oh, almost hungry. I will feed you in just a second, my loves. We're going to explore around here a wee bit. There's a lot of ostriches. Maybe we can get another ostrich egg. Oh, there's some snakes. There's some cobras. No, thank you, cobra. Ah, uh, there's some jellyfish. What is that? We'll look at that. That'll be our reward for being... So awesome and diligent, guys. Before we end this episode, I will pop over there for just a second. And we'll figure out the, like, pressing answer to, what is that? Also, we need to feed the dogs. Also, look at how far that expands. Jeez. Alright, well. Let's go explore over there, because we need to see if we can feed our doggies. Stay away from me, Cobra. I don't want to hurt you. I've got plenty of Cobra eggs. Wow, there's a lot of cobras out here. There's a baby ostrich. Very cute, very cute. Here's an elephant. I don't think it's a baby elephant. It's kind of big for a baby elephant. What is this? I'm getting a teensy bit of lag as you're loading. So it's generating something new. Wow, look at all those birds in that tree. That's so pretty. 
And look at the mama and the baby. Oh, I love that. What is this? It's a prairie, but I'm pretty sure you're not a prairie. You're huge. Is this a jungle? <gasps> Could we find kitty cats here? Is this like a real jungle? It's a jungle, you guys! We found a jungle this close to our home! We could find ocelots here! Whoops. Whoops. Ah, ah, ah. There we go. <laughs> oh my gosh! We found a jungle! Now we just have to find the kitties that are hiding somewhere in here. Ooh, and the new plants! But alright guys, it's getting dark. I'm going to take a quick nap. Finish gathering up some of our resources. Holy moly, look at that cavern! This is just like a little spit of a jungle. Alright, I'm going to put down the bed, take a nap, and I will see you guys back at the reptile house. Or if I see a cat here to catch a cat. And I will catch you guys in a little bit. Bye-bye.